OK, Mark, thank you. Right now, parts of Columbus County under in North Carolina underwater as Idalia leaves behind a path of destruction, roads and homes flooded water levels reaching 20 inches in some areas. Whiteville, which is in Columbus County, saw at least nine inches of rain as tropical storm Idalia moved through the southern part of our state. WRL's Chelsea Donovan is there now, has been talking to some business owners. How are they doing, Chelsea? Oh, I mean, it's a mess. Just take a look here where we're at. If you're familiar with Whiteville and Columbus County, we're on the southern edge of town. This is Madison Street where it joins with Fraser. This is exactly pretty much as far as we can go because the floodwaters just get too high. I'm going to show you Whiteville has got some roaring rapids here. I mean, just look at this scene. We can't go that far because the current is just too strong. As you mentioned, Tropical Storm Medallia dumping a deluge of rain somewhere above nine inches. But what's happened here in Whiteville, if you've been familiar with Hurricane Florence, Matthew, Floyd, and now Adelia, this backs up to the White Marsh and Soul Swamp. And so this is overflow paired with that deluge of rain that has caused quite a mess. I mean, look at some of these buildings here that have got sandbags against the buildings. They've got more than two feet of water inside. As you mentioned earlier today, fire and rescue crews had to rescue some folks out of these businesses because the water was just getting too high. Now we know that the water is receding a bit. But some of these folks, as you can imagine, are angry because after these major storms, this is the scene that continues to play out storm after storm. Take a listen to one shop owner we talked to. Get this. She opened a shop here at the far southern end four days ago. We walked with her as she was trying to get to her shop. That it's happening to these businesses all over again. Um, it was just a few years ago they flooded with Florence and Matthew, and now here they are again flooding. So four days ago, she opened her shop, a children's boutique down here in downtown Whiteville. She couldn't get to it. Her husband put on the waiters, and we'll show you what happened with their story coming up at 6 o'clock. But we should mention right now, town leaders have declared Whiteville under a state of emergency. And you can see that's because many of these north and south thoroughfares through Whiteville are closed. This road is closed as far as the eye can see, both north and south directions. It is a, a mess even to get down here for some of these businesses to even assess their shop. So, of course, we want to remind folks, if you're coming through Columbus County and downtown Whiteville, be mindful. And, of course, you don't want to be driving through any of these floodwaters. Certainly just a mess here in Columbus oh, County. Clearly, I, I can't get over the water rushing around that corner behind you there. Just unbelievable. Chelsea Donovan in Whiteville. Thanks, Chelsea. Yeah, there's a serious current there. And our WRAL severe weather team told us flooding would be the biggest issue from Adalia in our region. Meteorologists